Hi Buccaneers, this is Coach Tyson again. Uh, this is the second video. Um, hopefully you watched the first video on Box Plus One. If you haven't, I highly recommend watching the Box Plus One defensive zone positioning um, video. Um, because you'll notice in this video, we've already started in that Box Plus One. So we've got our wingers and our defense in the position where they're protecting the net. We're going to quickly just show what the defensive zone breakout is. Um, so let's say the puck is dumped in this corner. Um, it's the responsibility of this right defenseman to skate down and grab that puck. So they now have the puck. Once that happens, the winger, this is the right winger, needs to skate over to the wall, the boards here. Now it's important that this winger skates as fast as possible to this position. But it's also important that while skating as fast as they can, this winger has their eye on the puck. You see a lot of players, especially the really good ones, even pivoting and skating backwards as they get to the boards. This way they've got their stick out, their head up on that puck waiting for, you guessed it, the pass to come. Meanwhile, when the winger is doing this, the center it, who is already would have started to move down to support, starts to skate. This immediately, if they, the defenseman is further down here, the defenseman has a couple of options. Defenseman could pass it up to the wing as we will do, but if the winger is guarded, um, does have the centerman here, okay? But if it goes wrong, the puck is turned over closer to our net with one defenseman here and that's a scoring chance. The safer exit is out to the wing. If something goes wrong, the puck's a long way from the net, okay? So in this video, we're gonna go out to the wing. So the defenseman with their head up makes a good pass out to the winger who's got his or her head up waiting for the puck. The center is continuing to skate up. This defense will have moved into the middle just like our box plus one. The goalie's of course hugging that post just in case something goes wrong. The winger now is watching. I see many wingers jump out the exit, the zone too quickly. And that can be a problem if we were to turn the puck over. So this winger, the left winger in this video, needs to maintain that position for a time. The center will come up, skating, skating, skating. The winger will pass to the center who's coming up and the center now has the puck. It's at this stage that the winger would start, the left winger would start to skate out, giving the center a further passing option. It might be straight ahead, might go out to the left, may even sort of skate in this way. And this winger will start to skate up the ice. If the centerman, because a defenseman is here, the centerman might have to skate out this way, might cut out this way. Um, depending on what happens, the winger will either go up the ice here, but if the centerman fills that space, the winger will fill into the middle, okay? But this is the defensive zone breakout. Defense in the corner, C center creates a U shape. Winger gets really quickly with the head up, eyes on the puck to here. Pass, pass, center, out, all three wingers, uh, hopefully transitioning through the neutral zone into their zone for a highlight real goal. Uh, thanks again, and this is the Defensive Zone Breakout Video.